How you doing? Hello everybody and welcome back to my first weekly window in a fair, fair while now. If you enjoy the video today, please do leave it a like and please, please do subscribe if you enjoy my content. And if you're already subscribed, whack on that little notification bell and you will never miss a thing. So, the bottom line is guys that Jake Paul is a cat. I feel it's almost worthless saying that at this point, but wow, he is a cat. He, he is absolutely disgusting in every single way. He is a racist bully, a pathetic racist bully. And people need to remember that this guy is an actor. You very much cannot believe half the things he says in his vlogs because half the time he is acting. He's manipulating people. That is just what he is. He is a terrible manipulator. He wraps people around his little finger, including his fans, his friends, his friends. The Martinez twins thought they were his friends. I thought they were his family. But no, they treated them like a fucking doormat walking all over them day in day out so if you're a jake pauler your idol is a cat i'm sorry but he is a giant piece of shit. and if you want to understand this and get on my level then watch the rest of this video and maybe your opinions on him will change if they don't then there might be something wrong with you or you may be a bully yourself without further ado let's roll that intro Much like the title says, today I'm going to be explaining exactly why Jake Paul is a racist bully. I'm going to be talking mainly about him and the Martinez twins. Recently, if you haven't heard, recently the Martinez twins left Team 10, and thank God they did, because, I mean, the Martinez twins are some actual genuine people, some genuine good down-to-earth people they're really nice guys so this is why i feel so bad because they have been absolutely tormented by jake paul it was their dream to join team 10 and jake paul has completely ruined that and like i said jake paul is an actor and his reaction to the martinez twins leaving is a joke it's just it's stupid He's clearly faking emotions to manipulate his fans like he usually does. He is an incredibly manipulative person. So recently the Martinez twins uploaded a video to YouTube titled The Truth. Now this goes into huge, huge amounts of detail into what Jake Paul did to them, how frequently he abused them and terrorized them and this video shocked me, it really did. I thought Jake Paul couldn't shock me any more than he already has but this video has really upset me more than almost anything he's ever done so let's start by having a look at this video and seeing exactly what the martinez twins have to say about jake paul so first i just want to say uh i'm so first i just want to say any clips that i'll be using today will be modified so i can avoid copyright claims it's entirely within fair use but seems like the YouTube system doesn't think that. So I'll be addressing several of the Martinez twins points uh, to kind of give you a summary of all of these problems. We'll start with the beginning. This is when the Martinez twins joined Team 10. They lived in Spain and they met Jake Paul in Barcelona. They got friendly and decided that they would be moving to Team 10 in LA. They were incredibly excited. It was their dream, their absolute dream to be moving to LA to Team 10. And that's completely understandable, completely understandable. So he invited us to USA yeah. to join Team 10 yeah. and we were like, Bro, that's my dream. Like, no, let me go. go. Let's like, hit it. Let's hit it. Please, Please let me go. Like. This is where the problem started to arise. They didn't have their own room, so they had to move into the living room. This got rid of all of their privacy, and this got rid of their choice to have privacy. They were literally denied privacy. And through this, Jake Paul was able to prank them 
whenever he wanted. Jake Paul would always wake up the earliest and so he would be the first to terrorise them. This is getting to the point where it was almost every morning they were scared to go to sleep because they knew that Jake Paul would be waking them up and terrorising them. And we were all, the only ones getting pranked. Like, the other ones, they didn't get pranked at all. And we were getting pranked every single day because we didn't say anything bad to him. Like, we were like, okay, yeah, fine, fine, fine. Now, they were the only people that were getting pranked at this point. Jake Paul wasn't pranking anyone else in the house. It was just the Martinez twins frequently, very much frequently, constantly pranking them. I mean, pranks can be fine. They can be absolutely fine. But as the Martinez twins said, Jake Paul never apologized. He never said, you can prank me back. And of course the Martinez twins aren't gonna prank him because he'll go off in a hissy fit like he always does, like the child that he is. Now this escalated to a point where one of the Martinez twins was punched in the head by Jake Paul one morning. He punched me in my face in, in a prank. But like, how you feel when you wake up? You wake up and you have someone, someone next to you just ready to do something. I don't want this in my life. Yeah, funny Jake. Punching someone in the head is real funny. Well done. Well done. So the Martinez twins were getting absolutely sick of the pranks. They were getting sick of having no privacy. I can understand where they're coming from because when I was living down in Brighton, uh, there was a, a, a while where I didn't know where I was gonna be staying each night. And w when you have that feeling, that lack of privacy, lack of time to yourself to uh, unwind, it gets to your head, it gets in your head and it screws with you completely. Hello, Smudge. So, um, I can understand how horrible it feels to have no privacy. So, the Martinez twins wanted to lock their door because there was a lock on the door, but every time they locked it, Jake Paul would flip out and be like, open the door, open the damn door. Jesus Christ, six months without privacy. Absolutely terrible horrible i feel really sorry for them so the martinez twins spoke to england is my city and that shows a real problem here that they were too afraid to speak to jake himself and so went to talk to england is my city that's pretty horrible that you're in a situation where you are scared to do anything wrong because of this big mean bully that you happen to live with so Jake ended up finding out that the Martinez twins wanted to move out and wanted to find a place on their own and he was a prick about it. He was an absolute prick about it and denied it. They said he can't leave. No, no, I'm not letting you leave. Jake is literally forcing these guys to stay in a house where they are bullied, where they are forced into these horrible pranks, where they have no privacy, they can't even lock their door without him flipping out. Ridiculous. You childish moron. It's just sick. It's absolutely sick and twisted. Like, like the thing with Alyssa Violet, like the way he was forcing her into this state of stress. What a manipulative person. But it only gets worse. <laughs> it only gets worse. So they were denied to leave, and according to the Martinez twins, Jake Paul was only concerned about the paparazzi. The only thing, and I'm telling you guys, the only thing that he cared about that, and that, that, that thing pissed me off, is that, that he only cared about the paparazzi that they were outside. Like, if we move, they're gonna say, oh, the Martinez twins move out, oh my god, Jake Paul. He didn't care about our yeah, he, he only cares about his about name. Him, himself, his, his name, himself. He was only concerned about them leaving and getting a load of attention from the paparazzi. You selfish piece of sh what a What a selfish scumbag. I mean, you can't get much more selfish than that. And this is the thing. Jake Paul has only ever cared about himself. And you've got to remember this, guys. You've got to remember this. He only cares about himself. He doesn't care about anyone else. He never has done and never will do. Uh, every time he acts like he wants to help people, like with the Hurricane Harvey thing, he went down there to help them out. No, he didn't. He went down there to give himself a better image. 
He's never done anything uh, for anyone else, and if he's ever done anything for anyone else, it's to benefit himself. That is, you can see that in almost every last thing that that boy does. The, the fact he has friends at the minute is really surprising. How can anyone like this guy? How can anyone like such a selfish, arrogant bully? Anyway, getting slightly off topic now, so let's return to this video. So finally, they came to the decision that they would build their own room within the house, which they were really excited about, really pleased about. So within one day, apparently, they managed to put up this wall and build their own room, which was a small victory for them, but it was worthless in the end because they found out that it was illegal to build a room like that. And this is what really, really... Uh, made me sick to my stomach. This really upset me. Whilst they were away in Spain, they were told by Jake that he would get someone to take it down, they would do it professionally and get rid of their room, which is a really sad thing, it's a real shame. But Jake lied completely. Absolute crap. No, he didn't have anyone that was going to take it down and do it professionally. So Jake Paul thought it would be a great idea to smash their wall down with what looks like a pickaxe, tearing it apart. This is the wall that the Martinez twins had their fan art on. And then, when I was in Spain, I watched one of his videos. His videos. We found out that he destroyed our room. Goodbye, Martinez room! All of the art from their fans was up on this wall, and Jake Paul teared it to the ground, smashed it apart, ripped it to pieces, on camera, as per usual. So well done Jake, you're a f***ing idiot. You're a horrible cat. <laughs> How? How can you do that? In the video he's smiling, laughing away, it's every day bro as I rip down all this fan art. Who gives a f***? They're just some random foreigners that I have in my house. They're not really friends. They're not really people. I can do whatever I want to them. It's my house. I, I invited them over here. Therefore, I have control over them. That is the whole thing. The, because Jake allowed them to come over to LA, therefore, he has decisions over what they're allowed to do. And then he's going to rub it in their face saying, What? But I, I gave you everything. How could you do this to me? Shut the f*** up, man. This brings me to a recent video that Jake Paul made himself. It's not entire. It's not a reaction to this video, but there is a reaction from him in the video where he starts crying uh, and he has to go away and they have to stop the vlog because he's in tears. And then Chance said, yeah, it really sucks when someone uh, uh, that you do so much for stabs you in the back. Jake's outside right now and he's really upset. He actually is upset because, like, when you do so much for someone and they just stab you in the back like that, like, it just takes a toll on your emotions. Like, Are you serious? Stab you in the back? What? He made a video explaining how much of a horrible, scumbag, racist bully you are. And that stabbing him in the back. I think you were stabbing those boys in the back from day one. You stab them in the back every f***ing day. Get real, my friend. Jesus Christ. You need a reality check big time. Awful f***. Now, after this, things only get worse. They really do. They only get worse and worse. So, the Martinez twins wanted to learn English because so frequently Jake Paul was saying stuff to them and he'd have no idea what they were saying. They would even go to Jake Paul to ask for advice and uh, Jake Paul would act like he couldn't understand what they were saying. Wow. Wow. When you want to say something to someone, yo bro, can you help me on that? Or you ask him, or you ask him about advice? I, I want one advice, just one, and he said, I, I, don't, I don't even, I don't understand you, I don't know what you're talking about. So the Martinez twins noticed that they were frequently being called a beaner by Jake Paul. Beaner is a racist term. It's a racist term for Mexicans. 
And much like n is a racist term for black people, Bina is a racist term for Mexicans. And Jake Paul would frequently call them a Bina. Because it was funny for them. The, he said to us, the, he was saying to us all the time, Bina. Like, we find out what was Bina, and we were like, how he's joking about that? Like, he cannot joke about that. He was saying to us, Bina. And there's in blogs that he's calling us Martiner. Martiners. No, Mar no Martinez. Martiners. To the point where they came up with the term, uh, the Martinez. Really? 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 And they stabbed you in the back? Really? That makes a lot of sense. You racist bully. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Oh god. Ah. Fuck. I, c I can't even process this information. He's such a bad person. He's such a horrible scum. Scumbag! Why is he anyone's idol? God damn, this world is so fucked at the minute. Oh, oh, oh God! Is that is that is that what you've got to do to get somewhere in this world these days? You've got to be a bully, a, a racist bully, piece of shit. So I have put a link to the Martinez twins. Martinez. <clears throat> I've put a link to the Martinez twins video in the description if you want to get more context on this please go check it out it is a very insightful video it gives you a lot of information uh, into the background of team 10 and how horrible Jake Paul really is now this video has been genuinely hard to watch several times throughout the video the Martinez twins end up in tears they are clearly really saddened by the whole situation and I can completely understand that I can completely empathize with them it would be nice if Jake Paul could try empathizing one day in his horrible life god damn so I could I could talk for hours on this subject but uh, I I don't want to bore you and I think I've made most of the main points I wanted to make today so I really do hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please do leave it one of those wonderful likes and subscribe if you want to help support me and my channel thank you so much for watching guys I will see you in the next one take care guys